Christine, Christine, you weren't there. He was a ranting, raving lunatic, in my opinion. And to have him as a teacher is an embarrassment to all the great teachers in this country. This guy was out of control. He needs anger management. And uh, I'll leave it at that. But Councillor Ford, isn't that the same thing people are saying about the mayor? Well, you know something, I'm, I'm talking about this gentleman. You'll be able to address those questions with the mayor. And uh, I know one thing, Rob went to go get counseling for his uh, issue. Maybe this uh, teacher should go get counseling for his anger management and trying to indoctrinate, in my opinion, the kids in his classroom. And that was that came from a student. Well, the student uh, also said he was, they found that he was tough but fair. Yeah, well, you, you, could, you could tell he was pretty fair yesterday, couldn't you? <laughs> But anyway, so any other questions? questions? How come there's so much uh, security around the mayor today? I'm not too sure. You're going to have to ask security. I'm sure they'll uh, address it. And, uh, uh, maybe they're, they're scared of the media. Well, last question. Is that what it is? Like, are, are we going to have a chance to talk to the mayor? Because right now he's only speaking to specific media. Yeah, well, we're, we're going to be able to maybe work that in later on. Any other questions? Last question. Yeah, Doug, what um, I guess. Do you guys, does anyone want to know anything about issues about the city, or do you, are we going to go on about personal with Rob? That's my question. So I, I just want to know from the media. My question to you is how long is the personal going to be, and how long is it going to take for the, the people of Toronto to actually talk about issues? Well, that's, that's the question that I want to know. Do you want to know about subways? Do you want to know about reducing taxes? Do you want to ask me some questions about issues? Is that what he's going to run on? Are you still his campaign well, manager in October? Well, last time I checked last night, I was still his campaign manager. <laughs> but yes. Doug, that gentleman yesterday asked about Apollo Beauty. Yeah. And so what was your involvement with them in terms of, of law? Well, I think, it was, I think it was very clear that uh, we have a disgruntled uh, employee, first of all. We have a competitor that's put this uh, disgruntled employee up to it. Uh, it's very clear that the, the media and the Globe Mail especially did not report that the city manager said in four years, Rob and I have never directed him to do anything. It was very clear that the head of uh, water, Lou Geronimo, said uh, we did nothing but benefit and, and support the city in whatever they did. And they also didn't mention the largest uh, building that was uh, developed under David Miller, by the way, that uh, we, we uh, ended up... Uh, getting a hold of this about the Teagues that he put in place, but the media doesn't want to explain that side of it, they just want to go to the other side. So in helping a, a, a gentleman come or a company come from the 905 into Toronto to get a tax incentive that's open to every single person, um, I, I think that's incentive and I would do that and I encourage every single company in the country or in the world to come to Toronto. We'll give you a great tax incentive if you open up a three, four hundred thousand square foot building and you're willing to employ production line people, 500 of them, I think that's great and we'll do everything we can to jump through hoops and bend over backwards to help every company in the world come to Toronto and we'll give you the best incentives there are. Doug, one quick okay. question. What did you say to Rob when you first saw him? He looks fabulous. He looks great. Uh, game on. Let's go and uh, let's let's move forward. And, and the agendas uh, that, that he was elected on uh, four years ago, and we're going to continue on for the next four years. And uh, the people of Toronto uh, are getting sick and tired of uh, all the personal stuff. They want to hear about what we're going to do to move forward uh, in reducing taxes, saving taxpayers a billion dollars, putting in subways, working with all three levels of government to get subways to Scarborough. That's what they want to hear about, how we're going to improve this city. We have the greatest city in the world and uh, we're going to continue having the greatest city in the world. Thank you. What do you think about the Thank you, Doug. Sorry, the mayor. Thank you, Doug. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being calm for the election. Beautiful. Thank you.